Inside the Rose City Presbyterian Church in Northeast Portland, the Bach Cantata Choir is practicing for an upcoming show. As the sounds of classical music fill the basement of the church, members of the group cannot stop thinking about the $4,500 owed to them by brown paper tickets from a holiday concert in December. Brown Paper Tickets is a Seattle-based ticketing company. They've been very, very good in the past, um, but you know, a month went by and nothing happened, and now two months have gone by, and we haven't received any payment. And that's for us, it's forty-five hundred dollars. That's like five percent of our entire budget. The Bach Cantata Choir is not the only group of performers that missed out on money from brown paper tickets. The Sultanov Russian Ballet Academy, a Beaverton-based dance studio, was missing close to 20,000 in ticket sales from a performance back in December. They ended up getting their money. Nelson saw that story on KGW and decided to reach out in hopes it would help. You try to call them and then you get a message that they've taken down their support, phone support system. Um, and so you can only leave an email message. And so we've done that and wondering, we haven't received any kind of word back from them. In a statement, Brown Paper Tickets confirmed the money to the choir is scheduled to go out this week and cites the COVID-19 pandemic as the reason payments have been delayed. Nelson was excited to hear this news when we broke it to him. Yay! <laughs> Nelson says the choir will think twice before using brown paper tickets for their upcoming show in April. We were going to go with brown paper tickets, but we've actually developed our own little system on our website to buy the tickets for that. So we just can't risk it anymore. And the Washington Attorney General sued brown paper tickets in 2020. The AG's office says the company refused to refund ticket buyers who bought tickets for canceled events. More than 1,200 people had filed complaints about the company. And we reached out to the AG to see if there's been a complaint filed about the choir. And we are waiting to hear back. Blair.